What do you think? Who will win the Heisman? It's our Sports Nation poll question. 40% of you, a plurality, not a majority, think Dennis Dixon is the guy right now. And after the four touchdown passes against Arizona State, it's not hard to argue. Matt Ryan has fallen, not exactly off the map, but he's down to 3% after the three picks on Saturday. Well, each Heisman Trophy is exactly 13 and a half inches high and weighs 25 pounds. And all the guidelines are wide open. Well, the winners have come from a similar mold as well. Almost all from powerhouse BCS teams, either quarterbacks or running backs typically. And since 1998, there hasn't been a player from a team with more than three losses. Darren McFadden is trying to break that mold. At least on one count, he certainly looks like a Heisman winner. By the way, McFadden's got a nice little running mate in Felix Jones. Saturday, the two of them ran for 494 yards and accounted for five touchdowns because remember, Jesse, McFadden threw one as well. Yeah, he does everything for this football team. If Felix Jones was on this team by himself, he might be an All-America candidate. He's that good. He's got to share the load with another guy who's pretty good himself. This is the best tandem in all of college football. In the SEC East, though, it's Tennessee, even though they're 3-2, and two, they control their destiny by you know, beating Georgia. The Vols get Vandy, then at Kentucky after today's visit from Darren McFadden, Felix Jones, and Arkansas. It's basically a toss-up game. DMAC joining Herschel Walker, the first guy, or the second guy that in the SEC to rush for 1,000 yards, freshman, sophomore, and junior year. Houston, that told him at halftime last week, hey, DMAC, don't go looking up guys in the secondary. Don't try to run over guys, run around guys. And it worked. Just ripped up South Carolina. Likely his final game in Fayetteville. He figures to come out. And Desmond, he just might have jumped right back near the front <laughs> or to the front of the Heisman Trophy Boys, your, your club. Yes, yeah, CF. You know, Darren came into the season as the Heisman front runner, but after a couple of subpar performances, he fell off the map. But anyone who watches McFadden knew that it would be only a matter of time that he'd have a monster performance and jump right back into the race. Darren McFadden, D Mac, see ya. Now, at what point in the game did you know you were doing something special? I mean, 321 yards, that's sick. For me, um, I didn't even think I had that many yards. I was talking to some of the guys on the sideline. I was like, oh, I probably got about 110, 120. Wow. Then um, <laughs> I bust off one for 80. Then I was probably, like, I probably put about 200, 220. Right. Then they like 274, and it just like, it amazed me. Now, at that point, you knew you had 274. You still had some more to gain to play, so what was your mindset? Yeah, because um, it was the fourth quarter, we had a little lead, you know, um, I knew we had to run the clock out, so I had 274, I was like, so I wonder what it feel like to rush for 300, so I just tried to shoot for that then. <laughs> How about that Heisman? How do you like it? Open again. 321 yards, you're back in the Heisman race, but you're back. Where were you? Where did you disappear to? Um, you know, doing a couple, a couple games, I didn't get 100 yards, you know, um, but the Heisman is like, um, it's up and down, you know, you got to be on your game every week, you know, in those games, I didn't get 100 yards, you know, I feel like I fell out a little bit, but um, for me, it's, um, it's something that didn't concern me, because um, I feel like I ain't come on to the Heisman scene to this time last year, so for me, it's just like a new beginning again. The guys that give you a lot of flack about your legs being a lot smaller than your upper body. Nah, I think I would try to say I got some little chicken legs or something. <laughs> they just always be like, I don't see how you that fat with legs that little, how you can jump that high with legs that little. For me, just, um, I just feel like they go with my body. <laughs> Now, fellas, we all know that Darren can run, throw, even catch, but he's also a devastating blocker. As a matter of fact, after Urban Meyer saw one of his blocks on film, he said, that guy has my vote for the highest award there is. He said, I love unselfish players like that. I love unselfish players, too. But D-Mac has to have a couple more big performances before he can get my first place Heisman vote. All right, he hears it, Desmond. He's looking for another big game today. I think you're going to see Felix Jones get more carries kind of spread it around. He's going to smash Reggie Bush's all-time record for career rushing average per attempt, 9.27. he got to get 90 or 49 more carries in four games. Casey Dick, notice that. 33 attempts in three weeks. That's all they've had to throw it. 
<laughs> think Tennessee can make him throw the football That's a bit more. That's exactly exactly. the key to this football game because John Chavis, as a defensive coordinator from Tennessee, has been looking at Darren McFadden and John and looking at the Der Felix Jones and Darren McFadden the entire week. He's going to have, if he could put 15 at the line of scrimmage to stop Arkansas from running, that's what he would do. Arkansas is 111th in the nation in throwing the football. I think Casey Dick and Marcus Monk are the key today, their ability to throw. This goes back to last year where Monk had a great game. We were actually there a year ago this week. Eight catches, 147 yards. He made big plays, and he made Tennessee's defense respect the passing game. And that's the key today for Arkansas in this game going on the road. All the attention being paid to the running game, Lee. It's going to be yep. Casey Dick's ability to stretch that defense and to go back to the running of McFadden and Jones. I think Arkansas goes in there and upsets Tennessee. And Arkansas is a red-out football team. But let's don't forget one thing about Tennessee. They're 5-0 and at home, right? They haven't lost the ball game, and they destroyed a really good Georgia team in Knoxville. So not so fast, my friend. I'm going Rocky with the big top. one. Hey, I'm Rocky Top. <laughs> Rocky Top Tennessee beats Arkansas. And as for McFadden, I can't wait to end NFL draft time when a bunch of guys sit around and say, ah, he's got chicken legs, he runs upright, he's, he's a little fragile. He didn't really project to the next level. And we heard a lot about Adrian Peterson. Remember, yeah. he came out of Oklahoma, how he might not be player. a great prospect. He's kind of doing pretty well with him. <laughs> yeah. 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 On Rocky Top, Tennessee, everything to play for. The leadership of the SEC East, the potential to go to a BCS Bowl game. Here comes Arkansas. Darren McFadden's got a roll. What happens? Yeah, but Tennessee's 5-0 and at home. Rocky Top wins this one by a field goal. Well, I think Arkansas, so much attention is going to be paid to their running game with McFadden. Fadden and Felix Jones. Look for, I think, Casey Dick to throw the football to Marcus Monk. The balance today, believe it or not, from Arkansas, I think they get a win. Got off the bat. Um, they were, like we talked about earlier, boy, they had such a uh, high level of emotion. And uh, they came ready to go. Uh, we missed a tackle right there. They get pretty good field position to start out. But this first drive, come back with a short pass. It's well played. They're just, just nickeling. taking the ball right down the field. Almost intercepted by Wendell Davis. I wish he would have. On that quarterback sneak in that short yard. He's, he's six foot five and real long. This is well played on the fade. So you can tell their game plan early on. Run the ball right at us and then nickel and dime us. And the boy here comes Felix Jones and we come right back at him. I love the way we started the kickoff return. Everybody gets a block. And boy, he hits the crease like he uh, always does. And they get us for face mask. And this is where he got hurt. This is where he got hurt. He has a deep bruise. Come back with a power play. Good blocking and good hard running by Darren McFadden. So we have to settle for three, and Alex Tejada does a great job to get us right back in the game. Tejada's 15th field goal of the season, 7-3 to three at that point. We're giving them gifts, and, and we know better. Good tackle. Good form tackle by Weston Dacus from Searcy, Arkansas. And there's Adrian Davis, and the whistle blows. Good, good loss yardage play. One of five tackles for loss in the football game yesterday. We just beat his guy. We're back right now. Good tackle by Matt Hewitt. Well, you can tell we really miss Kevin Woods, Warner, Gotta get that going. You don't want to let them come start running downhill. This is a good play by Adrian Davis. Good lost yardage play. Boy, he fights off the block like he's supposed to. Real proud of Adrian. ISO, good job by Weston Dacus. Freddie Fairchild. We hold him to three. So, you, boy, you still have a lot of confidence. They got right us now. on the snap count. Good job by Malcolm Shepard and Freddie Fairchild. There's not a lot of trickery involved. It's, no, it's no. pretty basic it's stuff. David Cutcliffe, is, is, we all know him very well. And, uh, Phil Fulmer, they both they want to run the overthrow it just a little bit. Good coverage right there by Jarrell Norton knocking the ball down. He had a couple of good plays in that series. Draw play, boy. Very good play by Adrian Davis getting off his block, making the play behind the line of scrimmage. Now it's third and long, right where you want him. Come back with play action. Good throw to Peyton Hillis. A little bit of a rhythm. Good steady hands by Marcus Monk. You can just tell Marcus is not at full speed. Alex Tejada is going to kick a 42-yarder, and 
you know, lost in a lot of things, Coach, is the fact that Tejada's just become almost automatic no, for you. Know, I've been very, very proud of him and uh, consistency. He is in a lot of pain. I've never seen him in that much pain before because he hadn't gotten hurt very much. Good job right here by Casey getting out of problems. Great concentration by Lucas Miller. Big first down. Darren ended with 117 yards yesterday. Good job, Lucas Miller coming back to the football. Good job, Casey scrambling out. Another. Come back with the draw, and boy, this is another excellent run. Boy, keeps his feet. Boy, that is a super job right there by Michael Fadden. Come back with a power, and there he goes. Good hard running. Darren became the fourth in SEC history yesterday. Come back with the reverse. We look off the one we threw last week and throw it to the wheel to Michael Smith, and Michael makes a great run. Real proud of Michael coming in, relieving uh, Felix Jones. Hand it off since they're all waiting on Darren McFadden. Now, there's nobody there. Good, good, good call, and there's a good run by Michael Smith and well blocked. Good job of getting that football to the pylon by Smith. Sure did. They reviewed this as well, and then it, it, it call was confirmed.